Welcome to Frostpunk. So by popular uh, demand in a poll, Frostpunk seems to be the game of choice for my uh, new series. However, the new DLC, or rather the new expansion, the last autumn, won't release before January. So I thought we could just uh, play the original story a new home. These are the scenarios, they have uh, various quirks and so forth, so we'll take a look at uh, a new home primarily. And if there is sufficient uh, demand, we might take a look at one or more of the other scenarios as well. But uh, about this new expansion, the last autumn, it looks quite interesting as uh, well, what the dev themselves write is that The Last Autumn serves as a story prequel to the plot of the base game and will change the perception of the frostbitten landscape fans are so familiar with. And... Let's see here... Uh, the Last Autumn depicts an important turning point in the Frostpunk universe as it sheds light on events of the story that happened before the Winter Strikes. Imagine the world of Frostpunk before the frost consumed everything, the world that is full of life and energy. See the civilization's last attempt to remain unbeaten by nature and build a generator in an effort to save your people. Experience the unevil battle against winter as it slowly takes over the British Empire and threatens its collapse. And the expansion will offer you buildings, technologies and books of laws that will assist the player in navigating through unprecedented social issues and shape the Frostpunk society in previously unknown ways. So it sounds really interesting and I'm quite excited about that expansion. But for now, Let's take a look at the scenario, A New Home. We have the ability to customize the scenario where we can adjust the difficulties. Uh, we'll just leave all of them at medium. And go into the game. A still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We have lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth.
a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any other others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. So here we are, in our new little home. Fight the cold, we need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to the other buildings. Without it, we will freeze to death. So our mission is to stockpile some coal and start the generator. Now, we will begin quite quickly by just uh, building a resource collection point in these two locations. Actually, I think we need to stop that because we need a road. Like so. Speed things up. Can also send some people to gather uh, wood. So we're going to need quite a bit of that. like the music in the game. The graphics, well, the graphics are actually very, very nice, but I'm not that fond of snow. I'm a kind of a defect Norwegian in that sense. Okay, so we have enough wood now. Let's build a gathering post up here. And let's pause the game, because I want to make sure that I get the uh, road on the correct angle here. Which should be like that. And let's tear down these tents. And yes, I will build uh, houses for them, but... Uh, Right now, what is most important is to uh, get up resource collection. We need steel for that. Okay. Up we go in speed again. Now that should be enough. Let's pause and put down two tents. gathering post let's put it there and then we can build a road out to it like so and tear down the tents again not with the speed no roof over our heads captain People are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They are falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. I will prov provide shelter for everyone. Since they are uh, currently uh, off duty, they can build some buildings. Let's remove the workers from uh, that one. Put on this. And then put ten on this. A word of advice. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demand, surrender this. 
people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you. It's probably quite cold. But it's just still a low risk of getting ill, which is good. The heating is off. The generator is off. People are afraid that they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. We must gather some coal first. We can sign the emergency shift law, which of course we will. Um, that gives us the ability to force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours at the cost of discontent. And that is exactly what we'll do. 24 hours on the job. Insane. But that's our lot. Work, work, work until you die. I won't read all the, uh, everything the workers say. Flip around some workers and I guess we'll start up the generator. makes the area much more uh, comfortable in terms of heat. Now, of course it is important, if you haven't played the game, to uh, manage the discontentedness and the hope. We have someone sick, might be a good idea to build a medical post. We don't have the wood for it yet though, so it'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. That's fine. Now I would like to ask... If you guys would prefer to just watch me play everything, even if I speed up things, or if you would prefer to uh, having me pause the recording when nothing in specific is going on. For this first episode, I'll just uh, play onwards, but uh, please do let me know what you uh, would prefer, as that would be uh, massively helpful for me. Because there will be moments and periods of time in the game where I will be waiting for stuff. Particularly I will be waiting for wood and uh, steel. I have played the game enough to know that, so um, yeah. Just let me know what you uh, feel about that. Okay people, get on collecting. we go we can build no way 25 wood let's build a medical post here and we also need to build a cookhouse which we will build there strange. Two doesn't do anything. And three just steps it up one notch at a time. Put some engineers in there. And some workers in there. And we also need a hunter's hut. For which we will require a road.
can introduce a new law. Okay, people from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Indeed. Okay, first of all, let's sign the law for... Soup. And switch the cookhouse over to making soup. And then we need to assign 15 workers to the hunters. And let's also build the rest of the tents we need. One, two, three, four. Just checking where I have workers assigned. Good. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one over their head. Hope rises. Now we need to build a workshop. We'll build two of those, I think. And assign some engineers. The first thing we want is a sawmill. We need more wood for that. <coughs> the hunter should be coming back soon. starting work this is good we can introduce a new law again um, I think we'll go with extended shift and extend the shifts in both of these. Then we will build... No, sorry, we will research... Actually, we need the steam hub first. family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. Now, there isn't really much we can or want to build. But 
let's just gather up our uh, resources for now. While we wait for our research to complete. There we go. Steam Hub has been researched. The next one we want is Sawmill. Now, let's have a look at the Steam Hub. I think we'll build that. There. We need the steam hub to uh, be able to operate this uh, cookhouse when the temperature drops, otherwise it will just shut down due to being too cold. Now, as you can see, the um, discontentedness does go down slightly. Um, I'm not too concerned with the discontent from the uh, overtime work in our two resource ga gathering posts. As a matter of fact, we want to do the same with our workshops. That gives us a second uh, heat zone, but it demands three extra coal. So currently we are consuming exactly what we are gaining per day. introduce a new law and this time we will introduce child shelters I think and we can also build one of those base heating level 2 Build that one there. I don't think we need two of them yet. One should be enough. The temperature is going down. So the gathering posts would be nice to have um, heaters on. But that is the uh, next technology that we need to uh, research in our workshops. We require even more cold, but cold, not cold. All right, children cared for. The child shelter is ready and the children are safe inside. People can work without worrying that something will happen to their kids. Hope rises. We have researched the sawmill, so let's go on with the heaters. Steel wreckage has been depleted. 
guess it's time to um, build another gathering post. Build it there and pause it. This will be a temporary road, I think. Here we go. I think we might want to build another medical post as well, just in case. Let's pause that for now. Child shelter, a note of thanks. We just wanted to thank you. Back in London, it was only the wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work. In this new world you're creating, we can see things will be different. It was the right thing to do. Hope will rise slightly. Sure, we can just construct it. The resources have been reserved anyway, so. Another steel wreckage has been depleted. Chili is fine, uh, cold is not. Beaches have been researched, now... Let's nab the hunter's gear and turn on the heater in both of these and also that one. Which makes the buildings chilly instead of cold, which is much better. Also, we need to construct a gathering post out here. Let's do that. And also build a road out to it. Wood crates depleted, so that means that that building is done. So let's tear it down. Now, I wonder, a sawmill. I would like to have it within the influence of that uh, eater. I think that's a good spot for it for now. And we can build a road going around. It's 15 wood. Yeah, it's fine. This one is depleted as well. This one is done. There's 375 wood available. We can introduce a new law. Um, we can either speed up research or we can make medic apprentices. I think we will speed up research. 
but I'm not sure if that's the law I want at the moment. I think we want radical treatment. Increases both both discontent and uh, hope. We need ten people in that one, and we need to turn on the heater. And we need ten people in this one, and on with the heater. This one should soon be done. Hunter Scare has been researched. means that the next thing we want is the beacon. Work time. Get back to work. We should also build another hunter's hut. Even though we do not have the workforce for it. We should set this to soup. That would be a good idea. Let's take away two engineers and put them in the uh, medical post. This one has been depleted, so let's tear it down. This is one of the locations we can use for uh, outpost. The other one is over here somewhere. Beacon has been researched, which means we need to jump onto the drawing boards. And now we need people in this building as well. Um, let's see how the beacon. can build a beacon inside the town ish it doesn't require heat though so let's let's wait until they've torn down that building because i want it to be parallel to that road put these workers out of uh, don't need them in there right now we don't have any raw food anyways so they can work on tearing down that building
Also, we can remove these now and put all of the 15 available workers in the hunter's hut. We can introduce a new law again. Fighting arena is good. I'll go with the engineer apprentices for now. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Night is coming. Put down your The hunters' ah, drawing boards have been researched. The first and foremost thing we want then is coal mining. And that building has been torn down, so now let's build the beacon. Build the road out here. And then we can build the beacon there. We just need to wait for the hunters to come back. That's 20 from one of them. Temperature goes down or up, I guess. 40. Now let's remove these. Put 5 in here and 10 in here. This one into uh, overtime as well. Beacon built. We are no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us. Rostland. And with that, I think it is a good spot to end the episode. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next one.